Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today we're going to be playing some free-for-all here. I do believe this map is called Standoff. I'm a little bit out of my element when it comes to Black Ops 2 gameplays. Um, as far as it goes, it's just that I don't know the maps very well, and it's just one of those things that just kind of... I need to learn. I don't pay attention to the map, I just play it, and when I play Ground War a lot, I don't get them in the rotation, especially these smaller maps. This is something that you play in Headquarters, Hardpoint. 6v6 domination. You never get it in Ground War. So it's one of those maps I rarely played, and I decided to get a free for all gameplay using the Ballista. But I wanted to uh, take some time to talk to you guys about a couple things. Um, holy shit, who's talking to me? Ah, that's totally not professional. But, um, you know, I keep it real. So let's talk about Black Ops 2 and MLG Dallas a little bit. I went to MLG Dallas, and I got the opportunity to meet a lot of cool people. I met Hex, I met Diesel, I met Tommy, I met just a tremendous amount of people that were there, uh, Tasmo and all these other guys, and I also got to meet someone that I've known in the YouTube community for a little while. Um, his name is Brass Monkey. Now, Brass Monkey is a app developer for iPhone applications, and I didn't really know much about him. He kind of dropped off the radar for a while, and he kind of came back with these iPhone applications, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I got to sit down and meet with him and actually get a hands-on experience of this application, something that he's been working on for a while. And I thought I'd actually share it with you. Um, I think that is something that would be kind of cool. And you guys might want to listen. You might not want to. It's up to you. And it was just cool to see a developer who, you know, has done the YouTube thing for a couple of years. Um, I think he started a little bit before me, um, way back. Uh, he took over a channel called Toby Soda Lemon. And that was an amazing sniper. And he took over his channel and he used it to promote his applications. Now, his applications are iPhone-based. And uh, they started off with uh, Black Ops 2. Uh, not Black Ops 2, I think Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, and uh, now Black Ops 2. Now, the cool thing about these are there's so much stuff in here. It's a, it's just insane. Um, I can't even go over it all in this little four-minute long video. It would really take me about a 30-minute video to do. Um, but they have a couple features I wanted to discuss real quickly. We'll go through them. Um, the weapons feature. Uh, this is going to be kind of cool because it doesn't show you a little graphics bar and tell you you do this much damage. It shows you a chart for each gun, and it shows you where your gun's very effective, what range, distance, and target multipliers affect that gun. It's going to give you more in-depth stats than what you get with a normal in-game statistic. From, you know, logging in and looking, you have those bars, and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. You can't get a good judgment on that, and that's something that's pretty bad. But this fixes that, and this is what makes it so much better. Um, there's a couple things in here that I really thought were cool. Um, there is a gun comparison. Uh, basically, you select two weapons, and it compares them on like eight different categories, like highest damage um, at close range, something like that, or highest rate of fire, rounds per minute. You can go through all these options, and you can see what gun's right for you. And on top of that, they even have another feature where if you're not sure what gun you want to use, you type in, um, I believe it's called the gun finder, actually, instead of a gun comparison. Uh, you basically look at assault rifles, submachine guns, you select one, and say you want it to have damage, the highest damage at close range. Basically, it will search, and it will give you the top three of these guns, and it allows you to see what the damage is, what the st statistics are behind it, and give you some in-depth information. Um, I know I went over this rather vaguely, and it wasn't too in-depth. If you guys are interested in me doing an in-depth one over this application, I would be more than happy to do that at a later time. But I know um, when I talked to Eric, he told me that if I did make this video to let you guys know, if you are interested in this application, comment below and let me know uh, what you're most interested about, like what you would like to see, what kind of feature you like the most. And I will try to get you guys a couple codes and I'll give away um, whoever leaves the best comment or most well-respected comment in terms of uh, just being really honest about if they like it or not. Um, we'll see if we can give a couple applications away. And I know he would be pretty uh, happy with that too, to hear your guys' feedback. Um, that's one thing that we love about being YouTube directors and being developers of our own, is having your community support and community feedback. We thrive off that. Because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to make videos like this. We wouldn't be able to make YouTube videos at all. And just having your feedback there and having fans behind you just makes the job so much better, guys. And uh, I want to let you guys know we appreciate it. So if you guys are interested in this, um, check the links below. I will have some download links there if you're interested, if you want to learn more about it, and some links to his channels as well. Take care, guys. This is Cross. Hopefully you enjoyed this. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Black Ops 2 montage. Take care.